right guys, it's Saturday, weekly wash for the wife's vehicle. We've had our little um, thunderstorms daily here. So it just is enough rain for an hour, half hour to really just dirty up the car. It's happened for the last three days. I'm gonna go ahead and wash it. I see the clouds coming in anyway, but the wife's bugging me to wash it. So I'm gonna wash it. Today we're gonna use the Jax Wax Rinseless wash now once again rinseless washes you use in a bucket i also have extra juice from when i finish these buckets this is all still clean i pour into here we use this as my pre-spray or waterless so i'll be pre-spraying panels with that and doing a rinseless wash with this so it says to add one ounce for every two gallons well, I've got about a little over a gallon, so I'm gonna make say that this is uh, about a, a half an ounce, this cap full here. But we're gonna add two cap fulls, because I really don't know. So that's plenty, very good. I like that this is doesn't have any smell. I don't like that part, but I like that this one really does a nice job as a rinseless and a waterless wash. You can use this as a detail spray as well. And uh, as you can tell, you know, I have been using this. I do have plenty of rinseless and waterless washes, so it's hard to use up all of anything. But I'm gonna let you know how this goes. It is 111 degrees right now and getting hotter by the moment here in Las Vegas. So these rinseless or waterless washes are lifesavers i could do it inside the garage it's probably only 103 inside the garage but very hot and very humid so that's why you want to use these gallon of water about an ounce into here you can cut that down or you can add more if you want i also have extra of this inside here when i don't finish these i just pour them in and i recycle i don't waste anything so let's get going make sure you hit that like and subscribe guys first things first we're gonna get this we're gonna pre-spray the panel we want to knock the dirt off the panel and rinse it down loosening the dirt making it less abrasive when I come back and do my rinseless wash I'll show you how this looks and how it works up close all right so you can see we have dirt here so we're just gonna spray it down rinse it get it wet Now, as you can see, a lot of this pressure just rinses the dirt right off. So if you look up close, it's already starting to clean the panels. And we're gonna go ahead, rinse it all the way down the vehicle. We wanna get as much of this as clean as possible. Just imagine you don't have a hose and you're working with your sprayer here. Once again, we're gonna go over to this side here. Blast off any of this debris. We're working the whole front end. So let's go ahead and get every part. This is usually where the bugs are. Don't see too many bugs. But we're spraying and we're letting the product just sit and work. It's not gonna be a problem if this product dries. 
So like I said, it's not a problem if this starts to dry because right now immediately we're gonna come back with our rinseless wash and we're gonna wash the car. All right, I've got my rinseless wash towel here. I'm gonna go ahead and start wiping. Now most of the dirt is off. So I can go a little further here. I'm not worried about scratching anything. Go right across the whole hood. Get these fenders, bumper, all with the same side. So I've used this side. We're gonna flip to this side. I'm gonna go ahead and go over. Make sure I didn't miss anything. Coming down here, wiping. I'm not pressing hard, I'm just kind of wiping. Alright, so this towel has been used on two sides. I'm going to flip it and get it ready for the next area. In the meantime, now is when you want to dry. Now you can use a drying aid if you want, or you can just go ahead and dry it and you can put something on afterwards. Now that took all of, I don't know, three minutes or something like that. Look at the paint, it's nice, clean, feels fantastic. I don't really need to apply anything. I probably will, but I don't need to apply. Just feels very, very nice. Very fast, easy. guys so I've used two two sides of this towel I'm gonna to be flipping it over it is lost some of its water or its liquid so I'm gonna take mark the car washers method here dip a cup in there and I'm gonna add some liquid to this towel that's gonna to rehydrate it get some more lubricity on there for me and wash the car I've shown you how Mark the car washer pours his liquid on here. Now, if you don't want to do it that way and your towel is starting to lose its liquid, you can always spray the towel. And rehydrate it that way, that's fine. Okay, for the glass, we're just taking our towel that we've already used and we're just gonna wipe the glass down. The glass is not gonna scratch as easy as the rest of the car, the paint. But we're just taking that and we're drying. Now the reason, you know, most of the time we work from the top down, but I like going backwards on my rinseless washing because as I clean the top, I have, I'm short, I'm only like five foot, 10 and a half. I gotta give myself that half inch. But I'm reaching up here and I'm touching the paint. 
Now, of course, you don't have a belt buckle or nothing like that, but if the paint was dirty, I'd be rubbing dirt into it. So this way, I've already cleaned this, and it's a lot safer than rubbing the dirt into the paint. Now again, I have worked backwards. A lot of us will start on the wheels, but as you do your rinseless and waterless wash, it drips onto here. So if you cleaned them first, then you'd have this stuff dripping back on. So I do it last. Same thing, spray everything down. If you want to spray the tires, spray the tires. That's up to you. Get it going. Now, I've got a special towel here that I use for wheels. So have your downgraded towels just go ahead and wipe them like a waterless wash. Now at this point, if you wanna wipe the, the tire down, wipe it down, that's fine. You got a little bit of dirt on there. The next wheel is gonna get this and then the tire. Now this is the time when you can add your detail spray or maybe you want to add a sealant. Here we're using Body Shine from Jack's Wax. It is a real nice easy product to use. Spray it on, wipe it in, flip the towel over and buff it off. It's going to make it nice and glossy, very slick and just it's a pleasurable product to work with and it does a good job. All right, guys, I just finished up this video. It's a pretty quick one, basically a waterless pre-spray and a rinseless wash 101. So I took my Jack's Wax rinseless wash, very nice, easy product to use. I threw about an ounce into a gallon of water here for my rinseless. I already had my waterless made in my pump sprayer. Why do I like the pump sprayer? Because the pump sprayer sprays with extra pressure it hits those panels, it loosens the debris, and then you rinse down the debris as best as possible. You come back over it with your rinseless wash, flipping your towels. If you wanna go over the panel twice because it's extra dirty, you can do that. A lot safer because you've sprayed, rinsed, and then you're doing your wash process afterward. At that point, you have a choice. You can spray some type of detail spray or drying aid on there and dry the panel. Or you can dry the panel as is and then spray your detail spray on there. Doesn't really matter. Do it however you like to do it. There's no right or wrong way. It just depends on what you feel and what you've got going on. Uh, the rinseless wash is fantastic. I like it from Jack's Wax. Their body shine really is a slick and glossy product. I can feel it when I sprayed it on the car, wiped it in, flipped the towel over and wiped it off. Very, very nice product. Now, during my rinseless wash, the towels will, when you pull them out of the rinseless bucket, be soaking wet. So you can do your panels, you can excrete the water all down there. But as you're working with the towels and flipping sides, the water is going to be gone. So you use Mark the Car Washer's method that he taught me. Dip the cup in the clean rinseless, drip it back on the towel, and go back over the new panels of course on clean sides of the towel now if you don't have a cup for whatever reason and you don't want to do it that way you can get your pump sprayer and you can spray the clean sides of the towel and rehydrate the towel and then go over it either way is fine either way is going to work just rehydrate the towel if it doesn't have enough liquid on it for you guys the car looks glossy it's very slick 
It's like 100 and probably 12 degrees by now. The sky is dark, it's gonna rain again. I'm gonna leave my car outside today. I wanna get this done as fast as possible, guys. And rinseless washing is the way to do it in the shade for me at this point of the day. Hope you guys try out some rinseless washing. Try out some Jack's Wax. The stores are popping up everywhere. The products you can get online. Simple, easy, they work. Thanks for watching, guys. Any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll talk to you guys later. One more thing I wanted to show you guys. So here you can see I have some leftover product. Now, why am I gonna waste this? I'm not. If I leave this out, all right, this water, this liquid will evaporate into the air. Now I do have a gamma seal bucket, but that's full of product as well. Or I can use this and pour it into here. Now I've refilled my pre-spray bucket with the product I was already intending on using. This cost pennies to make. My pre-spray is refilled and ready to go. And we're all set guys, so don't waste your product. That's another tip for you. Talk to you later.